Hi guys, Nymphia here. I hope you guys all had an amazing Halloween weekend. Last game week I played my wild card and I could not have been happier. I mean 87 points, come on. Although I am allowed one gripe at least. If I had only had Gibson and Heaton in, I'd have a lot more points now. But, you know, I can't complain too much. So, here is my Game Week 10 team and points. So, here's my Game Week 10 team. Just look at that big fat 87 points. It is great to see Aguero back in his scoring ways. That places him on seven goals for the season. He's just now one behind Diego Costa, sitting on eight goals for the season. I'd have done a little better if I captained Aguero over Lukaku, but you can't win them all. If you're like me and the many of the FPL managers who got in the most transferred in player this game week, then you'll be happy, just like me, that Coutinho got us two assists. Yeah, it's not bad. As it was Halloween weekend, I was feeling a little bit devilish and I drew all the reports about Walcott's last minute injury. So I decided to transfer matter in for Walcott. It didn't do massive amounts of help towards my point tally. I'd like to look at getting him back in this game week, but it all just depends on how he does, how quickly he gets back. And, you know, matter is against Swansea, so it's a little bit to think about there. So that concludes my game week points and team. I'll just quickly show you what I plan to do in game week 11. Here is how my game week 11 team might look. With Heaton against Crystal Palace and Burwich against Sunderland, I have a tough decision with my goalkeepers this game week. With Heaton and his heroics last game week getting a whole 11 points against against Man United and Boruch against the bottom of the table Sunderland is going to be very hard to know which keeper to get in this game week so that might have to be a last minute decision. I'm thinking of leaving Blind and Daniels exactly where they are. My decision about my third defender however is a bit more difficult. Holobas is in form but he's against Liverpool who just keep scoring. McCauley hasn't done as well as Holobath, however he is against the Leicester team who doesn't seem to be scoring as much as Liverpool. So my thoughts are that I don't think necessarily that one will do better than the other, I'm just placing them up against a team that might not do as well as the other. And then I pretty much plan to leave everyone else where they are. I mean, after 87 points last week, it's a bit hard to start changing everything up. I'm not sure what's happening with Milner, how sick he is or how long he'll be out. I am keeping my little beady eye on Gundogan as a possible replacement for Milner, but I'm going to leave that until a bit later on in the week until I know what's happening with him. So it'll either be that change or maybe matter to Walcott if Walcott's back. But with Walcott against Spurs and matter against Swansea, as I said before, that is a difficult choice. My main decision is going to be between who to captain this game week. At the moment, as you can see, the captaincy is on Coutinho with Aguero and Vice, but it's pretty much between those two, and I'm not sure if I'll swap those around just before the game week starts. So tune in next week to see exactly what I do, and if I can try and get as good as I got last game week. Thanks for watching guys, good luck with game week 11, don't forget to smash a like, subscribe, share and do all those fabulous things, until next time Nymphia out.